Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we're gonna talk about Nick Walker and did he finally go off the cycle? I saw this photo, I realized he doesn't look as vascular, as hard, as grainy, as juicy as he used to not so long ago. It seems like he's starting to get a little bit softer, he's fading slowly. I'm gonna try and showcase that to you through his Instagram posts, uh, videos and photos. You guys know that Nick didn't really have time to go off. When was he in an opportunity to do that? I mean, first he was prepping for his pro qualifier that he won. A couple of months later he did his pro debut Chicago Pro. Five, six months later he did New York Pro, couple of months after that Arnold Classic and then Mr. Olympia. So that's a full year of competitions. And before the first competition, how long was he on? I am betting that he was on since the first show that he lost for the Pro Qualifier in 2019. Who the hell knows how long was he on before that show, but let's say he was on prepping for that show. He lost, so he was very hungry. So I'm sure he went, he didn't go off for the entire off season trying to improve as he did, he improved dramatically. And then there was a whole year as I already told you where he was competing and then after the Mr. Olympia he obviously didn't go off because he looked like this. Take a look at his photos, I mean he looked like an absolute beast here. He obviously took the advantage of his rebound, he stayed on cycle for quite a while and he made a lot of progress, it was probably a good decision, I'm not saying it was the healthiest decision, but it was a good decision in terms of making progress on his physique and growing. Now, it's been how many, 4 months since the Mr. Olympia? Don't you think it is time for him to actually go off for a little bit? I mean, he won't compete this year before the Mr. Olympia 2022, which is the end of the year, in December. So he has enough time to go off and to actually let his organs finally, finally recover. I am basing this mostly on his look, on the look of his muscles, because he doesn't look as hard, as grainy, as veiny, as nasty as juicy as before, since the last week or two he started getting a little bit softer. Surely you remember these photos, they happened not so long ago, maybe a month ago, he was 286 here and he was still hard as nails, he could have competed at a, at a pro show and you know showcased really good conditioning in two weeks, two more weeks of dieting and he will be just ready for the stage with this conditioning here and he was still really freaking big and round and hard and vascular and everything. Now, not really the case. Yes, I know the shadow is different, but still, still you can see that there isn't that kind of fullness, that kind of roundness and hardness, it's just different. So I'm guessing it would be logical, right, that he went off. Take a look at him here, training the biceps, look at these veins and look at the fullness, I mean look at the size of his arms compared to his head, look at the forearms and just the thinness of his skin, it looks like it's all going to burst any second. And now, yeah sure, his arms are huge, no doubt about that, but take a look at the forearms, the shoulders, the chest and the lats, obviously the arms, sure he still has a lot of size, but does he still have that that, 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 that hardness, that juiciness, you know what I'm talking about, that you get from blasting gear, I don't think he does anymore. Look at him here, this is also after the show, I mean, the, yeah, I know the post-show pumps are amazing, but he was like this for 3 months after the show. I'm pretty sure that he stayed on a lot of stuff after the show and he was probably using like the toxic stuff, he was probably training very hard. And you know, with his body being super hungry and just wanting to grow, because it was starving for over a year, basically, he, wa he was in a deficit, he was trying to maintain conditioning, he had small periods between the shows when he was able to eat more, but finally he was able to relax with a show nowhere on sight and finally he was eating and he was surely, he was surely doing some, some, some crazy cycles still. Because he looks here like nobody we ever saw basically in the past 10 years in the offseason. 
the, the improvements that he was able to make in this in this post show rebound were absolutely ridiculous. And this doesn't happen unless you're pushing everything. So I'm sure he was on a, on a heavy cycle after the show still. And now, finally, he went off. And I think he did it the most efficient way. Was it the healthiest way? I'm sure it wasn't. But it sure as hell produced results. And now, as you can see right here, he's training really hard. He's still very, very strong. I mean, this is four plates and he's doing with it such a control that it is just ridiculous how strong this guy actually is. And he, he's not even flexing. Like He's not even doing crazy stuff in the gym. This is just him trying to stimulate the muscles as, as good as he can. Here you can see, like, he still has the size and he won't lose it, it won't go away. I'm sure he didn't go completely off, but I'm thinking he's doing something like TRT for a while. And then before he starts prepping, probably because he said he doesn't want to grow anymore. So why would he be blasting uh, in the offseason? I'm sure he's gonna start uh, blasting before he starts the prep. And then he's going to, of course, speak properly for the show. His body is going to respond well. But as for now, I feel like he went off and uh, he has gotten a little bit softer. And I'm sure he's going to be, he's going to stay softer like this for a while. But then when his body creates more receptors and it becomes more sensitive to gear, when he starts using it, blasting it before the show, his body is going to respond like crazy and... We might have a new Mr. Olympia in the end of the year, I wouldn't be too surprised. Whatever you guys think, tell me in the comment section down below, like this video if you enjoyed it, and for more stuff like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much guys for watching, all the best and bye bye.